Shalom everybody. I'm standing here in our Asheville Temple home. Very excited to show you all of the possibilities of what we can experience together on our family adventure to Israel, our Jewish spiritual home, away from home. Please join me on this wonderful journey, August 2013. Anywhere in the soil of Eretz Israel, you can pick up a piece of history, just like this. So we are literally the first generation after 2,000 years of journey to come back to stand on these stones. It is not a vacation. This is a life-changing experience. You know how usually you have teachers who say to people, quit dreaming and get back to reality. So in Sfat we say, stop being so realistic and start getting back to your dreams. In addition to just looking at some of the ancient synagogue, we also spent some time with an artist, a Kabbalistic artist who shared his experience and his religious journey. So we were able to relate to that in all these different ways. We went to a Friday night service and there was just singing and dancing and everyone was jumping around. I never thought Judaism was like that at all. Being in the Minyan, I realized how much I need that experience as part of my Israel travel. We gotta set the scene. Remember, we were in Jerusalem, and we learned how the Romans attacked Jerusalem and destroyed Jerusalem, destroyed the temple. And the people in Masada, probably about 1,500, maybe as many as 2,000 people, a lot of them refugees from Jerusalem who had joined the original group of fighters here, hoping against hope, maybe the Romans will leave them alone. Going up Masada with my children, that was actually a huge highlight for me, you know, knowing that people had stood there before me that I've been reading about my whole life. I couldn't believe I had the opportunity to do, and I think my children felt the same way. One of the most amazing things about the Kesha trip is the stuff they did for our children. Adults programmed by themselves, and then children programmed by themselves. Everybody is getting their own ancient Hebrew alphabet. Every day, we did a word of the day, a Hebrew word of the day. Some of you are going to need an old city today too when you want to go buy gifts. Hamazulay. Hamazulay. And then you go. So when you get home from work, you just uh, plug in. That market will take off. The Jordanians move in and take over this area which you call the West Bank, West Bank of the Jordan River. We just met a bunch of 
immigrants who came to Israel and they are staying at this village and this is the place where they get to live, which is very cool. It was people, mostly people. I expected to be a tourist here, but spiritually, historically, I mean, it's just been phenomenal. Every moment has been so rich. How often do they go home and like, what do they do when they go home? Every two weeks, uh, we got the three days off to hang with vans and uh, families. What really meant the most to me was being at that border and being with those young boys. To understand why our borders have to be protected really just moved me, and I talk about it now, and it's really tough. So, thank you for being here with me. What's the difference between? Maybe I'll go a little Monet, Manet. It's a good family activity. I thought you would float like kind of down in water, but you really popped up. <laughs>